Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday the 29th of March, the local media headlines today. Nearly everyone reported the big set-piece debate of the day about a stadium for Cornwall, or should that be a stadium for Truro? Either way, it's going to cost us £3 million unless a meeting of the full Cornwall Council kicks the idea into touch at a special meeting next month. The council's cabinet is backing the idea, but only just, with several of its own members saying they were going along with it for now, only so that all 123 councillors can have a vote on the 17th of April. Other Cornwall Reports stories included the go-ahead for merging health and social care, but not without a cabinet split and voices of concern that the ambition for a full takeover of the health service in Cornwall needs to be carefully monitored. We also returned to the south of France, journalistically speaking, to discover that the council official who approved the £47,000 trip to Cannes was the same official who ended up leading the all-important expedition. And Cornwall Reports takes a moment to observe the end of an era at County Hall, where they call it communications, but most of us call it spin. Things will now be spun in a slightly different way, and it will be fascinating to see how that impacts on the council's reputation. Away from County Hall, the Falmouth Packet has a great story about how the university has withdrawn a job offer to an academic after finding out about his extreme right-wing political views. George Whale was about to become a research fellow in the field of digital creativity, but then the university discovered that he'd been a co-founder of Liberty GB, an anti-Islamist political party. The university told Mr Whale that his views were not compatible with its own values and that it was withdrawing the job offer because of the high risk of serious reputational damage. The BBC has finally caught up with that news, reported here three months ago, that Cornwall's Wave Hub has still not produced a single watt of commercially useful electricity. It cost more than £40 million so far, and we seem to have been talking about it forever. Now it looks as if the Wave Hub's next business plan, due any day now, is going to be even more interesting than usual. The Cornish Times reports on plans for 175 new houses at Callington. And finally, even Cornwall Live appears to have given up talking about snow, but instead gives news space to its latest concern, rain. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.